So in Lightroom though, if you want to use different images, you have to go to all images first and then you'll go to print. But like I'm working on a session here. So I'm in the session and then I'll go to print. And in under print, templates, you can actually go to Pinterest and find collage templates for free and import them into Lightroom. Um, they have these, which are nothing. Don't use that stuff. But uh, Or you can make your own. But So I downloaded some. So I use like this blog one, just a really big one. And then it is kind of tricky. You have to make sure you put your edited images on the collage. But anyways, you can go like this and then you just start sizing them um, how you want. It takes some time because you want to make sure lines match up. Um, and if you want like an image behind another just right click it and if it's like too big or too small you can put it however you want. And then I'm just going to do it fast for you. So I'm going to throw some images in here. Put that one there. And put that one there. And put that one there. <laughs> and let's see if we can put that one there and that one there. So see how that one's a little big, so you have to kind of get it, and it's going over top on that one, so I'm going to right click, hit send to backwards, send to back, if that one option didn't work. Um, okay, so then you have your collage, right? So then you're going to go over to this right side, and my mouse is being stupid. So you'll go over here, come up here. Um, you can have it on rotate to fit, but if not, you can always check that off. It doesn't matter. You can do folder, uh, border, no border. I like the border. And then come down. Keep like all of that unchecked. You don't need any of that. And then you can go to check the identity plate and come down to this arrow, hit edit. And I can add my logo in. It says it's huge, but whatever, use it anyways. I can put my logo wherever I want. And then you'll come down. Don't check the watermark because if you do, it'll put a watermark on all of the images that are in the collage. Um, so come down. And it says print job, which is totally normal. It's gonna you're gonna save this as a JPEG file. Um, the file resolution automatically is set to 72, but I put it at 300 PPI because I notice anything less when I post it. It just looks bad quality. And then keep your JPEG up to 100, and you can put put your custom file dimensions if you want to make your own customized one. Go ahead and put this 800. PT times 534, and then it'll give you this size, and then you can just do basically what I just did. Put whatever images you want and make them smaller, and you can add more pictures if you make your images smaller, um, and then make sure it's set to the sRGB, and that's it. So I know I went really fast, but I'm going to save this video for you and send it to you. Anyway, so then when you want to export it, you're going to go print to file. Save it um, where you want. Ugh, my mouse is the worst. Okay. And I'm going to save it to Jen. And once it's in there, okay, I'm going to use my. Where's my trackpad? I don't have it. Okay, so Jen, save it. And it takes a while. It's saying preparing print job up there on the left. 
Uh, once it's done, it'll be in your folder and then you can post it on your page. Simple as that. Let me know if you have any questions. So it should be finishing. But um, so if you go on to Pinterest and search Lightroom collages templates, um, you can actually download them and come right here, hit the plus sign and you can create your own and it'll let you import it in there. It's pretty cool. Okay.